Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will learn the features of the File tab. We will discuss each feature one by one and different questions that can come into your mind while going through this tutorial. So, let's get started. The first option, New, is used to create a new document. Simply click it or use the shortcut key Ctrl N to create a new document. By clicking it, you will generate a new blank document. In its drop down menu, you will find additional options for creating new files. From here, you can generate new files for other LibreOffice components or select from predefined templates. Next is Templates. LibreOffice Writer offers a variety of templates to create documents with predefined layouts and styles. Clicking on it will open a window with various predefined templates, such as business letters, CVs, and more. You can search for a specific template by name here, or filter templates by category. Choose the one that best suits your needs. The Templates option is also accessible in the new drop-down menu. You can also use the shortcut key Control shift n Like templates, you will find more options that are not only available within their parent category, but are also provided directly for quick access. If you've created a document with a unique layout or formatting that you'd like to reuse, you can save it as a template for future. This option enables you to create templates based on your customized documents. Clicking on it will open a window. Here, enter the name of your template. Select a category you like from the list, otherwise choose My Templates. If you want this template to open automatically each time you open Writer, then check this box and click Save. Now, open Templates, and you will find your saved template here. If you wish to save your template in a custom category, rather than in the predefined ones, you'll need to define your custom category first. To do this, click Manage here, and select New Category. Enter the name of your category, and click OK. Now, you can save your template in your custom category using the Save as Template option. To move this template to our created category, right-click on it and select Move. Choose your category from the list, or you can also create a new category here, and click OK. The Open feature allows you to access and edit existing documents stored on your computer. You can open documents in various formats, including ODD, which is Writer's default format, Docs, which is Microsoft Word's default format, and many more. Simply click it, and the open window will appear. You can also use the shortcut key Ctrl-O. The Recent Documents option provides quick access to the documents you've recently worked on. Click it, and a list of your recent documents will appear. This list is automatically generated to help you quickly reopen your recent files. You can also clear this list by clicking Clear List. LibreOffice also offers to access and save files on remote servers. This allows you to work on documents using other computers while keeping them on remote servers. LibreOffice supports various document servers that use established network protocols such as FTP, WebDAV, Windows Share, and SSH. To access these remote servers, you have to set up their connection first. Use Open Remote to open files and save remote to save them on remote servers. When you click on these options, the Remote Files window will open. It will ask you to choose a service. Initially, you won't have any services configured, so you'll need to add them through the Manage Services option. Now, select the type from the list based on the file service you want to use. Each service type may require specific parameters to establish a secure connection with the remote server. Once you've configured these remote file services within LibreOffice, you can easily access, edit, and save documents from different locations. The Save feature is used to save your current document. If your document hasn't been saved yet, it will open a save window asking for the file name, format, and location where you want to save it. If your document is already saved to a location, this option will save the updates you've made to your existing file. You can also use the shortcut key Ctrl S. 
If your document has been modified and not saved, a red circle will appear on the save icon, along with a red save icon in the status bar below. When you save it, the red circle will disappear, and the save icon will turn black, indicating that your document has not been modified since your last save. There are some additional options in the Save menu. Save As is used to save a copy of the document with a different name or in a different location. You might wonder what's the difference between Save and Save As. Save is used to update and overwrite the existing file with your changes, while Save As allows you to create a new copy of the file with a different name, location, or format. Save a copy saves a duplicate copy of the current document without affecting the original. Now, question is that how is it different from Save As? Both Save As and Save a Copy allow you to create duplicates of a file with different names or locations. But, Save As is often used when you want to update the original file, while Save a Copy is used when you want to create a duplicate without altering the original. Save As, Export, Save As Template, and Save Remote are also available outside the menu for quick access. Next is Export. This feature enables you to save your document in various formats, including PDF, EPUB, and more. This is particularly useful when you need to share your document with individuals who may not have LibreOffice Writer. Just click it, choose the location, enter the document name, select the desired format from the list, and click Save. You can also export to PDF and EPUB directly without going through the export dialog, using these options. The print option allows you to send your document to either a physical or virtual printer. A physical printer produces paper-based copies of documents, such as HP printers, while a virtual printer generates digital files like PDFs, without creating physical prints, like the Microsoft Print to PDF virtual printer. Clicking it opens a dialog box where you can select the printer type from a drop-down. You can configure various printing options, including page orientation, paper size, and the number of copies before proceeding. Once you're satisfied with your settings, click Print to print the document. LibreOffice Writer also provides the option to print directly to a PDF file using the Microsoft Print to PDF virtual printer. This is a handy feature for creating PDFs of your documents without the need for a separate PDF export. You may wonder about the difference between Export as PDF and Microsoft Print to PDF. The difference is simple, Export as PDF is a feature within LibreOffice itself, while Microsoft Print to PDF is a system-level virtual printer that works across multiple applications, including Writer. Before printing a document, you can use the Print Preview option to visualize how your document will appear on paper. This ensures that your document is correctly formatted and ready for printing. This is a representation of how the document will appear after printing. There are additional options here that helps in exploring your document in Print Preview. The default view, known as Single Page Preview, allows you to see one page at a time. Use the page down for the next page, page up key for the previous page, home for the first page, and end for the last page. You can also use these buttons for the same purpose, and this box for specifying a specific page number. Multiple Pages Preview allows you to view multiple pages simultaneously. You can define how many rows and columns of pages you want to view at once, like this. This option allows you to view only two pages at a time. Next, this option allows you to view your document in book form, meaning that how it would appear when printed and arranged as pages in a booklet or book format. You can also zoom in and out in the print preview using these buttons. If you are satisfied with the preview, you can print directly from here without closing the preview. To close the preview, click the close button or press the escape key. The properties option provides detailed information about the currently open document, including title, type, location, size, and statistics such as the number of pages, words, and characters. You can also set custom document properties here. For now, that was all for the Writer's File Tab features. If you still have any questions, feel free to write in the comments section. 
If you like this video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.